John Scully és un gegant de l'art contemporani reconegut mundialment. A l'ermita de Santa Cecília, una perla de l'arquitectura romànica que es troba camí de la badia de Montserrat, Scali ha pogut fer realitat el somni de qualsevol artista, integrar una part de la seva obra en un espai únic. És molt inusual tenir la oportunitat de fer una ambiència que és completa, que és total, que és... A collection of works, of course, but in the end, the collection of works in all their parts make one work. It's one artwork. Nascut a Irlanda, crescut a Londres i triomfador mundial des de Nova York, John Scully va arribar a Barcelona en la dècada dels 90. Va passar diferents temporades a la ciutat i va fer excursions a Montserrat sovint. En la primera visita al Museu de Montserrat, l'artista va voler veure el Temple de Santa Cecília, el primer vestigi romànic de la muntanya. Va quedar corprès. Bueno, la idea, en el principio, era muy modesta. Vino de una sugestión de un amigo muy cercano mío, el Padre La Plana, que me invitó a... Invitó put some works here. So I started out with the idea of a single work. I was thinking of Santa Cecilia and I was thinking that she was the saint of music. And then I was also thinking about my mother, who was a singer. When I was very young in London, we used to go to uh, vaudeville. She would sing on the stage. So I wanted to make a, an artwork that was uh, an homage to my mother and also to Cecilia at the same time. And of course, I wanted to make something that was open to everybody. I don't want to make something that is uh, strictly Catholic. So I had to make a um, compromise, a, a truce between the openness of contemporary art and contemporary artistic thinking um, and the respect for the tradition of the church which has been here for over a thousand years. Al llarg del temps, l'ermita de Santa Cecília havia quedat arraconada com a refugi d'excursionistes. Un dia, però, el director del Museu de Montserrat, el pare Josep Laplana, va voler fer renéixer aquest petit monestir. Entre el 2013 i el 2015 es va realitzar un procés de restauració a càrrec de la Diputació de Barcelona. Es va fer una adaptació respectuosa del conjunt d'edificacions històriques per poder-lo utilitzar com un centre d'art contemporani, compatible amb les activitats de caràcter religiós, l'espai d'art. Scali va abordar aquesta empresa tenint present l'energia i la força de la muntanya que acull l'ermita. This is very much connected to the ground upon which it stands. It's as if it's rock that has been taken out of a mountain and then simply put into a, another form, making a modest building. And I wanted to do something that was very physical like that, had a sculptural aspect but also was in some way painted. L'artista va voler conservar l'ambient sagrat propici a la contemplació i la meditació silenciosa d'aquest temple consagrat. Fins al darrer moment, Scali va pensar, va refer i van ampliant el conjunt artístic. I was thinking um, of the three rooms here and I had the idea to make each room different in ambience, in feeling. So I used the three primary colors. I made a yellow room, a red room and a blue room. 
that was the reason and the thinking between making the windows, these little vitrales, different for every room. And as you walk through this church, you will see that each room has a slightly different light that influences the artworks. And here you see the relationship between the, the window, which is in a sense kinetic art, and this, which is static art. And you see the colour here, the colours are quite related to nature. La intervenció de l'artista inclou cinc pintures murals de gran format, vuit vitralls, un regaltar de vidre, petites pintures al fresc i tres creus de vidre. El projecte implica una intensa i extensa transformació de primer nivell artístic. Ara, el Temple de Santa Cecília és un dels màxims referents mundials en la confluència entre l'art contemporani i el món sagrat. Of course, I was thinking about primitive, rustic quality of the environment, of the building and of the mountain, and the relationship between Barcelona and the sea. And I chose to make a blue painting behind, that's a landline, part of a landline series, that has a very, very strong relationship with the colours of the ocean. In a sense, Barcelona is a, is a city that is inseparable from the idea of the sea. It's very strong in the mythology of the people, in the mind of the people. On the other wall, opposite the uh, landline, blue painting, I made a, a painting that is um, with, with windows, and this painting is called Cecilia. The idea of the painting was the body and, uh, and the spirit. So it's almost as if the top inset has in it a musical note paper or the strings of an instrument. And the bottom panel is very heavy, made with the color of blood and earth, earth colors, weighted color. John Scali destaca el profund component físic de la seva pintura. L'artista pinta a partir de les seves vivències. A Santa Cecília, Holly, una obra plena de significats, és la creació més imponent. I wanted to make something that was monumental that would uh, let's say stand up to the church, stand up to this edifice here which is very powerful as a building. So I had to make something that had a certain physical brutality. So you see it's like a sculpture. It has a very strong sculptural presence made of corten steel, very heavy, weighs as much as uh, three cars, and it's mounted on the wall, so it has already power. And then I inserted into it these uh, inserts that are um, representing in some degree the um, physicality and the weight of the material of life, of human life, but also with the aspiration to become in some way elevated as we want to. And the inserts represent the body and the spirit because my mother uh, passed away 10 years ago. Then later on we had the idea to make a line in Latin and I wanted to set them into something very physical that corresponded in materiality and weight to the church. El joc de colors, de composicions de franges horitzontals i verticals caracteritzen el treball d'Escali. Aquest estil no és un resultat ocasional. Aquesta forma de composició és producte d'un llarg estudi de la pintura de grans mestres, Ticià, Manet, Velázquez... 
A Santa Cecília, les dues obres més grans tenen nom de dona. Holly i a l'altra punta de l'espai, davant per davant, Doric Nix. This work is called Doric Nix. That's made with um, metal panels, aluminum, it's a contemporary material in the form of a triptych, so they're bolted together. And Nyx was the uh, ancient Greek goddess of the night. And I wanted to represent something that was very dark and possibly tragic in, in relation to our sense of mortality. And I wanted to make a monumental group of paintings dedicated to that, and I like to put one of them in here. So you have uh, two women, in a sense, facing each other, because Nyx was the goddess of the night, facing Holly, and one references a tradition that's uh, 4,000 years old, and the other is more, let's say, Christian. You see 333 running all through the church, like here. So there's always this sense of um, numerical structure in my work, which I find very interesting. And the number three, of course, is symbolic. It implies infinity, and uh, it's, it's used in, in many forms of religion, not just the Catholic religion. I was thinking to make the church neutral. And I have to say there was never any pressure of any kind put on me to make a cross in the middle of the church. My first idea was not to do this, but I thought in the end as a, a mark of respect for the history of the building, I would include, I would include one uh, cross, but a cross that corresponds very closely with my own sculpture, which is always made of stacked boxes. And I wanted to make something that corresponded to my own work, and that also would be interesting in, in, in this context. So I made two crosses on the side that I drew very quickly, and this little wall here, which of course is made of glass, and I consider it to be an artwork, representing, of course, the number three. El llenguatge expressiu de Sean Scully consisteix a organitzar conjunts de faixes i requadres de color. Scully els disposa arquitectònicament, generalment en sentit horitzontal, formant ritmes i cadències cromàtiques, variables fins a l'infinit. El pintor treballa els colors, els fa vibrants i els aconsegueix amb diverses capes cromàtiques superposades. In addition, I wanted to make something as a counterpoint to all this weight, all this physicality that was um, fragile and that was in, in, inseparable from the church. And I came up with the idea of making these little frescoes that look as if they are part of the skin of the building. So the first little fresco that I made was this one, um, part of a series of uh, paintings that I have also been working on called Robe, which relate to the idea of robe as a material, as a, as a design. And of course it's again based on the grid, but the grid with a, a very high level of um, intuition in terms of the colour. And I put this one, as you can see, 
directly below the window so that this room is very yellow. The first thing you see, the first sensation that you have when you come in, when you see this is a strong sense of yellow, yellow and red. It's quite warm, very simple and poetic. So I thought this was really interesting in the way it corresponds in size and colour to the light source above. Nascuda fa més de mil anys, l'ermita de Santa Cecília és una petita joia que convida a la contemplació. L'exterior era fantàstic i ara l'obra de Sean Scully aconsegueix un ambient extraordinari de color i llum a l'interior. Normalment, un artista, un pintor, un escultor, com jo, té individuals que són assemblats per a exhibicions, però aquesta és una situació que hauria de ser permanentment i totes les parts són permanentment are indivisible and impossible to separate, to make one environment. 